right, hello wine drinking people. Time for more of what I've had to drink yesterday and our friends from Strategic Imports were in. This is a small company. And you know in Florida they have about 400 distributors. And there's a lot of these little guys that have some really cool wines uh, like uh, Alejandro of Strategic in Imports. Mr. Ferrari, rather. And uh, this is a winery from Rioja. The first wine we had, Fernandez de Periola. And this is their Crianza. It's a third generation of growers that just started to produce their own wines recently. And they use a new technique called Orestrio, which pumps the CO2 back into the wine. So it's not necessary to do a punch down on the cap, which I'd never heard of, but you know, it's out there on the internet. A better color, better structure. This wine is 100% Tempranillo, the great red grape of Spain. And this wine seeds 12 months of oak. Not new, but uh, you get a little hint of spice here to the red berry fruit with some nice fresh earth a bit of that steak and meat like quality you get from Tempranillo from Rioja they make a hundred thousand cases and 85 percent is sold in the domestic market so um, light and refreshing style Tempranillo here red strawberry and cherry like fruit with some of that fresh earth and those meaty notes through the finish a very good little wine at 1575 some of the best values you'll find in the wine world coming from Spain and Rioja definitely the best known area one of two DOCs in Spain Tenuta Canto a la Moraya and this is a Chianti producer we're going from Spain to Tuscany the Bacio Felice it's a blend of 80% Sangiovese and the rest is Caniolo and Malvasia Nero so a classic blend here this wine's got a pretty uh, nose it's got some floral notes to the red cherry and wild strawberry fruit, fruit hints of wild herbs a light and savory style of Chianti and light on the wallet also at 1575 those pretty floral notes and that earthy nuance showing through the finish 1600 cases produced a very good little wine find some really nice values in Chianti here today then you to come to Alamoraya I just like to say that Toscana Rosso IGT a blend of Sangiovese and Cabernet and as an IGT uh I guess you could have called this Chianti. You could put 20% Cabernet now in Chianti. Or no, I think it's going to be 85% Sangiovese. Anyway, this wine's got a good amount of that Tuscan earth, the fresh plowed terroir, some of those herbs, sage, and dark cherry, and currant berry fruit on the nose, a little porcini, maybe some dried meats here. Uh, nice freshness here on the tongue with a bit more structure, a little that classic Tuscan earthiness showing through, and some of that herbaceousness, and nice fruit here. This 2011, a very juicy and forward vintage. 3,200 cases produced, very good. Also, also, then the Tenuto Canto la Moraya Moraya. This is their uh, top wine, I guess. Uh, well, it's got the name of the winery as the name of the wine. Blend of 50% Cab, 30% Sangiovese, and 20% Merlot. All organically grown grapes on this property, I should mention. Only 1,600 cases produced here. This wine's got a deep, rich nose of fresh plowed earth, a Tuscan terroir, I call it. The dark cherry and currant berry fruit, some cocoa and spice showing up there. Good complexity. A nice amount of that dark berry fruit on the tongue with some tannins and a firm hand of acidity holding everything together. That bitter cocoa, earth, and herbaceousness showing at the end. Uh, excellent bottle of wine at $36. So some really good stuff here from Italy and one from Spain uh, from our friends at Strategic. I'm your host Andrew Lampassoni signing off for the Wine Watch saying remember always drink the good stuff first.